Welcome our today's presentation biology grade 10 unit 3 human biology and health under this uh, presentation under this presentation part 4 uh, we will see about sense organ the human eye and how retina works and also about color blindness don't forget subscribing liking sharing commenting my video let us start our today's slide sense organs nervous system to work there must be a sensory receptors that respond to stimuli stimuli are changes in the environment to decide whether they are useful uh, or dangerous or neutral in the human body there are many different types of sensory receptors that respond to different stimuli in every case sensory receptors change the energy of the stimulus into electrical energy in nerve impulse some of the most important include receptors of eye that is uh, retina provides vision lights ear sound ear also um, uh, movement or kinetic tongues uh, that test these chemicals nose that also uh, sense of uh, smells chemicals skin movements or pressure touch pain for movement skin also temperature receptor for heat muscles and arteries that is uh, movement and the kinetic also arteries about and the brains that is chemo receptors of the chemicals the human eye a sensory organ is an organ that contains a large number of sensory receptors receptor cells and the human uh, eye is good example of this uh, sensory receptors our eye enables to us to see in clear focus in three dimension and in color many other animals cannot manage all these three uh, things the eye circuit in your skull that protects eye the eye protects eye from entry of dust sand and insect Sweep tear solution regularly over the surface of your eye. The tear contains enzymes that disturb bacteria, might infect your eye. The sclera is uh, a white outer layer of eye, is a very tough and strong, so the eyeball is not easy to damage. It has a transparent area at the front, known as cornea. The cornea, it lets slide into the eye. The curved surface of cornea is also very important for bending the light coming into the eye to make sure it enters the eye and also is focused on the retina. The rest of the sclera has many blood vessels which supply our retina with food and oxygen. The cloid is a dark layer underneath. The middle layer is filled with a blood vessels that nourish retina. This layer is a dark because it contains pigment cells that absorb light and stop it being reflected around the inside of the eye. Your eyeball is filled with a gel-like fluid that helps to hold its shape. Pupil is a hole in the center of iris that changes size in response to changes in the lighting. Iris is a colored part of the eye. It is made up of muscles that contract and relax to control the size of pupil. It also iris is responsible for controlling the amount of light reaching retina. The light be, be, uh, becomes wider, contracted and becomes smaller. The circular muscles ra uh, run around the iris and uh, while the ra radial muscles run across uh, it. Uh, like spokes of uh, a bice, bicycle wheel bicycle wheel lens is a reflex uh, flexible 
disk that helps focus light on the retina. It is made up of large protein held in place by sensory ligaments and ciliary muscles. It is a fine tooth focusing the light and bending to make sure that it produces an image on retina. Suspensory ligaments elastic like structure that suspend the lens and pull it into shape for focusing distant object onto the retina. Ciliary muscles is AI muscles that automatically contract and relax the shape of lens of the eye to help focus light on the retina. When the light is relatively dim, the radial muscles contract, the circular muscles relax and the pupil is pulled open wide. It is delight. When the pupil is delighted, lot of light can get into the eye and so you can see even in relatively low light levels. In bright light, the circular muscles of iris is contract and the radial muscles relax. The pupil becomes small, it contracts. Uh, this reduces the amount of light to get, uh, to that goes into eye. The change in size of Purple in response to light is reflex action, mean that it is not, it is involuntary action. Retina is a special light sensitive layer that at the back of eye known as retina. When an image is produced on retina, the light sensitive cells are stimulated. They send impulse to you, impulses to the brain along a factor or sensory neurons in the optic nerve. When the brain receives this message, it interprets the information we see something. The other is about blind points. It's a point where your optic nerve leaves your eye. There is no retina on the blind spots. A brain does, uh, does a very good job of filling in missing bits from your blind spot. How? With information from other eye. The only way you can pro uh, prove that it is there is to use a bit of theory yourself. How retina works? The light energy that falls on retina is changed into electrical energy by light sensitive cells known as rods and cones that make up your retina. Rods and cones rod and the cones contain chemicals that change when light fails on all them. This change in tigers, uh, tigers and impulse in affected neurons that make up optic nerve. The impulses travel along optic nerve to visual area of the brain. The rods and the cones then use energy to restore the chemicals to their original form. Rodis resp respond to relatively low light levels, but they do not give a very clear image and they do not respond to different colors. When light levels fill in the evening, the color drains away and everything looks black and gray. Rodis are spread across your retina except over fova. The fova is a small area of your retina which contains only cones. Cones only work properly in bright lights, but they do uh, they respond to colors and give a very clear and defined image. The area of a fewer cones than rods, and there are a, a few of them around edges of retina. This is why the edges of your uh, visual field are blurred, but very sensitive to movement. The closer you get to FOVA, the more cones there are, and the FOVA itself has only cone cell. When light fails on FOVA, you see clear, clearly and in color. Each cones respond to red, green, or blue light. The colors you see depend on which combination of cones is stimulated. If all three are stimulated, equally you see the whites. 
in bright light, the circular muscles of iris is contract and the radial muscles relax. The pupil becomes small, it contracts. Uh, this reduces the amount of light to uh, to that goes into eye. The change in size of pupil in response to light is reflex action. Mean that it is not, it is involuntary action. Focusing the lights to see clear light from the object must be focused on your retina. For this to happen, the light must be bent or refracted. Light rays are refracted when they pass from one medium to another. For example, from air into water. Focusing the light also, uh, the light uh, coming in this uh, in is bent or refracted twice. Once as it passes from air through the cornea and then again it is passes also the lens. As a result of this refraction, the image is focused onto your retina and it is also pro, uh, upside down. The optical use uh, means that the upside down uh, you can we can look from this image that figure 3.3q the optical area of the brain interprets this inverted image so you uh, that you uh, are aware of the world the right way up that is Rodents respond to relatively low light levels, but they do not give a very clear image, and they do not respond to different colors. When light levels fail in the evening, the color drains away, and everything looks black and gray. Rodents are spread across your retina, except over foba, as the foba small area of your retina, which contains only cones. Light from light from uh, distant objects needs little further bending once it has passed through the cornea. So the light is uh, stretched long, thin, relatively flat, and has a little effect. Light from a close object, when light from the close object needs some uh, considerable bending to keratina, the lens of the eye needs to be much thicker to focus light from near objects. It becomes shorter and the fatter and also much more uh, convex or rounded so that it bends the light much more this changes in shape this cha uh, this changes in the shape of lens are brought about by the co uh, contraction and the relaxation of ciliary muscles that surround them which in turn pull or don't pull on the suspensory ligaments that hold the lens in the place. Ability of human eye to focus on objects at a different distance is known as accommodation. Uh, suspensory ligaments last like structure that suspend the lens and pull it into shape for focusing distant object onto the retina. Ciliary muscles is AI muscles that automatically contract and relax the shape of lens of the eye to help focus light on the retina. When the light is relatively dim, the radial muscles contract, the circular muscles relax and the pupil is pulled open wide. It is the light. When the pupil is dilated, lot of lights can get into the eye and so you can see even in relatively low light levels.
on presentation part 5 we will see uh, common eye defects that are short sight long sight as the their cause and their correction until that subscribe my channel like and also share comments thank you